<laughs> Alize, he's not gone? <laughs> I sense yet a presence, says Orange. <sighs> Your show apparently has nothing to say. I bet this is just blinding. Shall we? Indeed. Let's see what happens next. Yeah, let's get to it. Three, two, one, go. He's coming back. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Right. Oh. He's got body slammed. My very essence begins to wane. Sweet, sweet agony. You are not well, sir. Be at peace. Leave this to him. Come to deal the coup de gras. Good. <laughs> Watching you struggle against the inevitable is bad comedy. Erase me from existence, soul and all. I mean, if we can get our answers from him, we can ask Hylan other things. <laughs> I think the top one is a fonder memory. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's, it's more to business. We're just going to keep syncing up here. Three, two, one, go. How would you know that name? As the mortal Amon, I was haunted by a dream. Night after night, the faceless multitude, the voiceless cries, shards of shattered memories. But slowly, the fog began to clear. This was Alpis. And I, I was Hermes. Recurring though it was, I paid this dream little heed. It was only when I was granted the seat and memories of Fan Daniel that I knew these visions to be true. They were the memories of Hermes that he himself erased using the power of Kairos. Or so he thought. In his attempt to burn away the events of that fateful day, he succeeded only in searing them more deeply into his soul. My soul. That's a cute idea. Death failed to expunge them. No matter how many times it came, rebirth after rebirth, from one Van Daniel to the next. I wonder, is Emmet Selk adrift somewhere in this ethereal sea? 
In defeat, finally remembering your time together in Elpis. Buddy, you and me both. How it must gall him to be entrusted with knowledge of the final days, only to be rendered powerless to act upon it. So many lifetimes dedicated to restoring his beloved Amaral in blissful ignorance. Oh, folly. But make no mistake. My life as Hermes is not the reason I invited the world's end. I have lived. I have struggled. I have dredged the very depths of despair. And in the detritus of existence, I found the truth. I served a great ruler, powerful beyond measure. The world, his dominion. Yet even he and his vast empire were destined to fall. To become one with oblivion. At the end of life's journey, lies only death. So I ask you, why live at all? Let me answer. <laughs> we betray. We torment. We murder. We are wicked, spiteful creatures, without exception. If life is so sacred, so precious, why fill it with such misery? Man wallows in a hell of his own making without purpose or meaning. To live is to suffer, and I would end that suffering by my own hand. It matters not. If it flies in the face of all believed right and just, death is the only solution! That is my truth, my answer to the question. And yet, even as the words pass my lips, I am filled with doubt. Okay, so that's where they're going with this. As my search, Reached its end. Was this the only way? After all these years, The lamentations of the damned. How it vexes me to see your conviction falter at the last. Van Damme, still clinging to existence, I see. You, who champion death so fervently, unwilling to accept your own. Refusing to be purified and swept into the sea of souls. As do I. Okay, I'm officially confused. We prisoners to men, watching as the world turns. Though unlike me, you will be spared the oh. of having your corpse made <laughs> It's actually you awesome. Yeah. <laughs> this is not... I, I was is not expecting... Aussie? Aussie closure. How very astute. But let me be clear. I have not come to consort with the likes of you. <laughs> Buddy, this is not your story. Nor have I come to bemoan the state of the world following my untimely demise. 
In fact, I delight in mankind's downfall and the anguish it brings the savior of the savages. If I played some small part in the chaos, all the better. Not that I was in any position to resist. But to be made accomplice to the betrayal of Lord Xenos. I would die a thousand deaths to exact my vengeance. And you're still doing the faces. Okay, buddy. Now you are at my mercy. I shall drag us both into oblivion, and you will never see the fulfillment of your magnum opus. Even should you be reborn, your desperate search for answers must start again. <laughs> I do love that first one. Mm. I mean, like, I'm kind of for letting him drag himself. <laughs> you know, it, it was his body he, after all. Van Daniel's having a moment. He's working on it. He's about to have a breakthrough. He is, but he's also revealed by Xenos is still around, which I thought was nice poetry. Yeah. Because, you know, Van Daniel's sitting around being like, why, why? And you can just see the Stormblood speech playing in the background. To eat, to drink, to breed. <laughs> From Xenos. He had it figured out. Life's pointless, so let's rock. Yeah. I don't know. I've, I'm leaning option one. What are you leaning? I don't think there's a next time. I don't think three makes much sense, in my opinion. <laughs> so I'm kind of for... I kind of want to see what happens letting Asahi do his thing. What so, option is that? Middle. Dot, dot, dot. Middle? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to stay out of this. Okay. I mean, uh, they're having a moment, you know? Asahi has every right to be pissed, even if he was a bad person. His body was pu puppet about. I masqueraded. Good. He sucked. Yeah, well, they can both <laughs> suck together. <laughs> I am curious to see what happens for you, so I'll do me, you do you. <laughs> okay. We might get us out of sync is all. All right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> and what might that be? <laughs> My wish is all but granted. To die and take you all with me. Just accepts it. Okay, never mind. Don't try to follow me. I had more of you people than I could stomach in life. Never mind. So you got a little more extra line. Death. Mine just sunk to the ground without saying anything. Ah, okay. likewise. But it did I make Asi being like, again. screw you, I've had enough of you more funny. <laughs> you had better. Hope not. I would have rather seen Yatsuyu again. Come. Hydalin is waiting. I guess we should walk to the end. Hey everyone, and welcome to our Clips and Highlights channel. If you want to keep up with everything Kyle and I have going on, make sure you subscribe to the main Grinding Gear YouTube channel, which is where we actually do these streams. That's right, we stream right here on YouTube. Oh, and uh, sub to the Grinding Gear podcast. Apple, Google, Spotify, really any podcast platform. We're probably there. Thanks. Of that crystal. There are many walks. This room looks cool. 
also kind of looks like a trial. <laughs> it's a big room. Why is the room so big? Holy shit. Brave travelers, I welcome you. Holy crap. Yes. Boy, you look like something I'm going to fight. Well, anytime I see anything that looks like Razafon, I want to kill it. So that's Razafon? just my problem. What is Razafon? A really weird anime. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the second option. The second option is good. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I'm going with the I'm going bottom. There's you look no, different? There's no world no, right yeah. up the bottom. I don't know. The top is respectful, but I think things are kind of getting weird. So Yeah. Yep. Three, two, one, go. <sighs> yeah. See? I see. Thou didst journey under Elpis. And now, the rivers of time converge. I know why you have come. Yet I would hear you speak your reasons all the same. You created the moon to deliver mankind from the final days. But is that really how it has to end? We do not wish to abandon this world. We want to protect the source and all of its shards. To flee is but one of two paths. The other leadeth to Meteon, far beyond the stars. Where she doth chant creation's requiem. God, that design is very cool. Her domain is formed of dynamis. Pure. Absolute. Where emotion and memory govern all, ether will avail you naught. Meteon hath gathered the pain and despair of countless stars, and to go unprepared is to go unto your doom. We'll beat her. We'll win. I swear it. Is what I might have said once. After everything I've seen, all the times I've succumbed to my own anger and fear. I can no longer pretend that courage and faith will be enough. But are we truly so powerless that our only choice is to flee? Far from it, my child. Long ago, the inhabitants of myriad stars, many more prosperous than Atheris, sought to free their worlds from life's woes. Sorrow and anger, conflict and hostility, despair, and even death itself. But as Meteon reported, every attempt ended in failure. Darkness abideth within every living being and can never be cast out. Neither reason nor faith can challenge this immutable truth. To live is to suffer. And in suffering, find strength and purpose and hope. As you have done so many times before, Thou dost pursue an impossible dream, yet knowing this, 
You pursue it nevertheless, and thou hast learned to depend on others as they do thee. Thy yearning for the power to save the powerless hath ever driven thee to greater heights. Thou hast grown strong. Though those closest to thee no longer walketh by thy side, their love remaineth thy guiding light. For duty's sake, thou hast been bound by truths unutterable time and time again. Yet thy heart hath never wavered, as thy companions will attest. In thy pursuit of mysteries great, all thou believest is brought into question. Undaunted, thy thirst for knowledge remaineth unquenched. The fires of hatred that once burned in thy heart burneth no more. From their ashes doth spring the light of love, warm, and pure. The city should get red right now. As witness to black calamity, thou despaired at man's helplessness. Resolved, thou didst unite a distant world on the brink of collapse. And thou, my champion, when all did seem lost, thou never abandoned hope. For every trial and every foe that did bar thy way, thou hast proven equal to the challenge, drawing courage from the many bonds forged on thy journey. You have all known despair, and though the end approaches, you walk on, heads held high. Therein lieth your power, the strength to silence the song of oblivion. Then there is a means to confront her. Yes, if you should prove yourselves worthy. Hark! Oh, damn. Nigh impossible is it to send mortals to the edge of the universe. Should you fail, there will be no second chance. As the will of the star, I ask of you this. Do you possess the fortitude to stand firm when all around you does crumble? Do you possess the faith to vanquish despair itself? Should you lack the strength to best a supreme deity, I cannot allow you to make the journey. You must leave this star. There it is. <laughs> and never return. Prepare yourselves. So she's just testing us like she did on Elpis. Yeah? That Prove fucking rules. Bad. Sounds straightforward enough. Hell yeah, Stain. Aye. No room for confusion there. In any case, we've come too far to back down now. I am of the same mind. What power I have, I shall bring to bear. The three of you seem to be forgetting who we're up against. <laughs> it's not every day we battle a divine being of untold power. Well, not quite every day. Get sassy, Stola. 
Do try not to get underfoot. Needless to say, there'll be no margin for error. Still, he didn't have the glove on that other hand. Let us hold nothing back. For the people of this world and those beyond the rift. Alas, the question I posed to thee in Elpis hath remained unanswered these long years. I would hear thy response, warrior of light, shouldst thou emerge victorious. go. Well, All right. When was the last time we dungeon straight into a duty? Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dude, it so happens. Good. It happens. Yep, yep. Oh, okay. cool. Oh, cool. So you can do that. I mean, I was, I was yeah. They were all kind of getting stoked on it. I assumed you could do a support duty trial thing. Yes. Yes. That's pretty cool. Can I run around like a jackass in here? I sure can. Yep, 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 yep. This is, uh... Take a look at those giga... heels? Are the heels... Are they actually heels or are they just spikes? Well, they're kind no, of... They're I mean, they're it's a bodysuit. You can see the seams on the back of the legs. Kyle immediately went looking at the legs. Oh, you know. The wings are sick. Yeah, it's a nice, uh... parallel to the... Sin Eaters. Yeah. Look. Because we definitely saw that rotating circle business. I gotta look over the edge. 